what's up it's natalie welcome to or welcome back to another youtube video so today i have my one month appointment it's been like a little longer than a month what is on my forehead i'm like wearing no makeup i'm only wearing like tinted moisturizer um and mascara so i'm going to leave now i want to stop at duncan but yeah i have my appointment today i'm so excited hopefully he will clear me and yeah let's go outfit this shirt is really old so i don't know where it's from leggings are lulu obviously i have my same shoes from misguided that i love anyways like i was saying i'm now in my car i'm heading to my appointment right now my mom is watching arabella while i'm at my appointment and then she's going to head back down south she lives there but she comes up a lot i'm so thankful that she does because she's such a big help so yeah we're doing like a chill day kind of today i don't really have anything planned i do want to do my nails i don't know if you guys can see that they look awful and mother's day is literally this weekend and i'm so excited because it's my first mother's day and i'm so excited i think we're doing tampa and then we're doing disney um like my mom and my sister are doing disney and then me sam and arabella are doing tampa and then we're leaving tampa and then heading to disney to meet them so i'm very excited for that it'll be arabella's first time in disney we're doing kind of like a pool slash like chill day i don't want to do any of the parks obviously because she's still so little but it should be exciting so that's kind of my plan right now like i said i'm heading to duncan i'm craving coffee i'm so tired arabella slept so good last night though it's so hard putting her down to go to sleep we tried like doing the bath time like relaxing but she likes the bath it's just when we get her out of the bath she hates it she's freaking out she literally just wants to stay in the tub and that's not okay like she needs to go to bed so we stopped doing that and then last night she like she gets these really long naps and obviously I don't want to wake her up because she is sleeping throughout the night um but it's like eight to nine o'clock she's like screaming doesn't want to do anything hates her life literally wants no one and it's so hard because obviously I want to help her. And I know she's biting sleep and I know that for sure because she'll doze off and then she'll wake herself up and then scream. So last night, Sam and I, I tried to lay her down around nine. I was rocking her, she didn't want me. Then at 10, I was like, Sam, <laughs> she does not want me. I think she might want you so I could have a break and he was with her for like I think until 11 12 and then he laid her down in her crib because that's where she sleeps now and 30 minutes later she woke up so then I went back in there and then I was trying to like calm her down I don't I don't understand I don't know if it's like growing pains in her legs she kicks her legs so much so I think she's obviously growing I know that for sure so maybe it is like growing pains I don't really know um, we did try to switch her formula to the gentle, gentle formula, hated that, that made it like 10 times worse, so then we went back to the infant, that helped a lot, so we're sticking to the infant, infamil formula, she seems to like it, and then at 12, anyways, going back, at 12, she fell asleep, and then she slept all the way until 6, which I think is pretty good. Like, she's not even two months old and she's sleeping throughout the night pretty much. Can't complain. For me, it's so hard for me to fall back asleep. Like, if, I, if I'm up with her at 12, I won't go to bed until like 1, 2. Because it's so hard to fall asleep and I've always been like that. Kind of where I'm at. Anyways, back to today. Hopefully this appointment goes really well. I'm hoping he will clear me. And... I mean, I feel fine. Like, I'm starting to get, like, a little cramp. Like, little cramps down where, like, my lower stomach is. I, it almost feels like period cramps. So, I don't know if I'm getting my period again. Which would really suck. Because I feel like I just gave birth and I deserve a break. 
but I think it might be that because that's exactly what these cramps feel like. And I'm scared. I'm obviously going to mention it to him, but I know he's going to push like birth control and I'm so not for birth control. Like those chemicals in my body, no thanks. I've never even been on birth control either. So I'm gonna say that to him and kind of see where he's at with that. And then if he's like really pushing birth control, I'm just gonna be like, no thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna go get my Dunkin'. And got my coffee. I've never been a big Dunkin' fan. And then when I had her, I started getting it and it just, it's way better than Starbucks. I can't even drink Starbucks coffee now because it like literally makes me go to the bathroom. Anyways, I got a frozen coffee with caramel, yellow cream, and then a blueberry donut. It's so weird. Before I was pregnant, I was really, really sensitive to dairy, specifically cheese. And then when I was pregnant, I had like mozzarella sticks, nachos, like everything with cheese. And I felt fine. Well, now that she's not in me anymore, it like came back. My stomach is so messed up. Anytime I have like the littlest bit of cheese, I'm done just done and I don't know if that's normal <laughs> I don't know if that's normal at all but it is what it is I guess and it used to be like that with coffee too but for some reason I can drink coffee and be fine and not feel like how I used to feel so anyways I think I'm gonna check in with you guys when I'm done with my appointment so yeah well I got cleared for exercising everything I'm so excited basically it was kind of like a waste of appointment if you ask me because I thought he was gonna like have to check me and stuff nope just asked me if I wanted to get on birth control which I don't so now I'm heading home I feel like that was literally a 10 second conversation with my doctor it is what it is next time I have to go though is when I get pregnant again which is not anytime soon so yeah let's go home okay i just got home arabelle is sleeping and i'm gonna go do her laundry right now she's sleeping so this would be like the perfect time to go do her laundry Let's go. Sam wearing my flip flops. How adorable. I don't know if you guys can see them, but. Okay, I'm done. I promise. You look so cute with your flip flops. Ready? Let's go get Lovey. We are heading to lunch. Let's go. I'm doing my nails right now. Forgot that I was vlogging today. It looks awful, but it's just the first coat. Late, 
light pink kind of okay using this color it's called pink pursuit and then the dries instantly top coat and i'm watching tara michelle i literally took arabella's fan and i strapped it on here just so my nails can dry faster but on to the next nail now i'm going to go upstairs make some dinner for me and sam and then i think we're watching moon night i think i'm gonna make chicken and rice because we're both on diets not fun but necessary but I'm gonna end it here because I'm gonna start a new vlog soon. It's the next day and we just got done with our walk. Now she's in her swing. I put the trial on and I have some work to do. But yeah, that is it for today's vlog. You wanna see anything, Mimi? Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say it. Bye, bye guys. See you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.